And Eric, no, there's not. No, there's not. It's the guiltiest person. Hello and welcome. Uh, somebody on the show and this podcast has, has taken a page out of the IJ book, started stealing stuff from around the office. I couldn't be prouder. Uh, somebody on the oh, show tried I to- I can already tell by the face. Somebody on the show tried to rob a, uh, a, a Costco without having a membership card. <laughs> I somebody did. On the show yeah, was true. attacked by a snowflake. I, wow. wow. And then there's me. <laughs> Wait, Perfect. What did I do? Perfect. <laughs> you, you, Odie, you're stealing the, the computer. I am. Yes. Oh, wait a second. Yes. It's not really stealing, it's repurposing. No. Oh. So yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the office, if you if you listen to the show, the office has been closed since March of last year. No end in sight. Yeah. They haven't even bothered giving an update. Not bo- like, there's no even like there's no update to give. Like there's nothing even nothing's changed. I went down to the like the store the the, the kitchen type store thing. That's like, dangerous. The, yeah, just to see because I wanted to get like a we, cobwebs we were, we were everywhere. Get, when we were getting noodles. We had noodles. Uh, it was like last weekend. I was like, oh, oh, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe there's water down there. The water had expired. Like Ooh. that's how you know it's like the and there's or, let me tell you, fam. There's orange juice in there that might honestly, if you had it, might be the cure to COVID. <laughs> like it, I don't know what's growing in there. Ew. But like it's because That's like it's so all gross. Mm-hmm. so I started decorating uh, the studio with things. It's pra- pra- nothing. That's like practical stuff. We've gone through a couple of the practical. stools because one uh, broke. I need this table. This table. And my first question to you, Hoods, yes. is: It is uh, February now. When did you first notice that monitor? Uh, like a month ago. Yeah, like when I came back from COVID. So end, end of January. This okay. a, um, I don't believe you. I think you probably had your eye on it for a while and then worked up the courage to go for no, it. No, here's the thing. So it, it was a computer that was sitting in an office that's uh, been empty for a while. And uh, it was it, empty before lockdown. And fair, too. Like, before nobody lockdown. uses the office. Like, yes. We have like a ton of offices that were like being planned to be moved into. Correct. But actually weren't because obviously the pandemic. Yes. Now. Um, so I was like, well, no one's using it. It's sitting there. So let me. Ask Dan, our engineer, like, hey, can you unlock this office that's been locked since the pandemic started? And can I move this to my studio again, essentially? And uh, yeah, it looks nice there. I mean, it, you got permission, yeah. essentially. Someone had to I, unlock the I door asked, for you. I asked yeah. the right departments. I asked Matt Henry, our digital director. I asked Cruz, our boss. Yes. And then I asked Dan. You all heads see, right the, there. the difference here is Hoodie asked and got permission, so it's not frowned upon. You just went and did. Yeah, but well, <laughs> it, I mean, both work, though. You <laughs> asked, <laughs> you, you, you've asked for forgiveness, not permission. Yeah. That's I, what I, it is. And because of that, I've had my stuff longer. To be fair, so, yeah, well, do, but hoodie, do we know if it's a computer or just a monitor? I don't know. Like it's weird because like it's just the Mac screen, and then it has a bunch of plugs that I think connect into my laptop. But Eric thinks it's an actual computer, but it doesn't like turn on automatically and has no power button anyway. Yeah, I just feel like huh. if, if it was brand new out of the box, I would say it was a computer. Yeah, for oh, sure. It, because it's that size and probably isn't brand brand new, probably a monitor. Also, it is an older screen because like it doesn't plug into my. My right. new MacBook. Yeah. So I did have to put in a request to get a, a an adapter, adapter and nice. they fulfilled it today. Hell so, yeah. Yeah. Hell. It's amazing what happens so when they, they want me to have that computer. Yeah. You know? Listen, when you <laughs> treat do. engineers with respect and just you know a nice person, it's amazing what happens. It's just, it's just, it's just kind of crazy. It's like what 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 else could we possibly ask for? I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so that's check that for the list. Saran, you tried to rob Costco. Uh, something like that, but not really. <laughs> it was just so many, so much was going on. We were trying to get carts, and literally people were like running from all over. There was a line, and yeah. I thought it was a line to go in, but they were just waiting for carts. But I went with my homegirl, so they have this new rule now. So like, whoever is on the face of the membership is the only one that can like really buy it. Yeah. I like that. And so I told her before we went in there, I'm like, this is not gonna work. So we had like a bunch of stuff, and at the end, it was just like, oh, well, you can't buy it because it was her mom that was on the card. So. Uh... It was like an epic fail. Man, see, Sam's Club doesn't have that where it has a face on it. It just, I think it has a name on the back. Not even. No, it's just a card. You just scan it. Don't matter who has it. Yeah, they, Damn. it wasn't like this before. I think they just recently started, like, after um, the pandemic. I think there's, like, also a TikTok hack that, like, you can get a Sam's Club, like, gift card or a Costco oh. gift card. And that works the same thing, too. Uh, okay. Oh, Eric's always said he gets his liquor from Costco, especially, mm. like, here. I don't know why that is, but... But also, this area is like this area in particular is the weirdest liquor laws I've ever seen. 
Like, you, like the liquor and wine. The fact that liquor stores and beer and wine are separate, mm. I don't know what the allergic. There's no logic for it unless I'm an idiot. Unless well, I'm missing something. I know as far as like restaurants go, you can serve beer and wine, but you have to have a liquor license. Yeah. So I'm sure it has to do like it has to be separate because it has to have like a separate license. Well, that's not fun. I mean, I also who's taking the liquor hoodie? <laughs> what liquor? Mm-hmm. Oh, that one over there. there uh huh. You I don't know drink who? That. You know what I drink? Fireball. You know who? So I'm, I'm, right. I'm right. Fireball. Oh, my gosh, yeah. oh. I mean, uh, maybe. Uh, I knew it. I, I knew Ron, it. You're taking <laughs> it's it. It's not me. I don't even like dark liquor. We Wait, can't... who's taking it? Eric is. Uh, yeah, I mean, we all know who's taking it. So how many bottles are you taking? I don't know. I mean, you have to ask Cody. He's in here with him. Why? <laughs> no. Why how many is my always thrown Cody, under the bus? How many? Right? How many is he taking? I don't even. I didn't even know there's been any taken. There for sure has. Like uh, for bro, sure. You got so many. Maybe like one or two. Do. You know, d- there's so many. Okay. Is oh, one, one of them th- like open? Oh, is it? I don't know. I can't tell. It looks like the the one on the front left. Matchstick. Yeah, we uh, opened that last oh, Sunday. Oh, okay. For I was noodles, say, so that's different. That's right. Um, okay. Okay. So now, but now here, like, luckily we have a video, so I can just go and check the video. But I knew. <laughs> you want the what? That's though? true. Your your webcam is essentially oh, just yeah, so I'll, <laughs> in, in, intentional. I'll know when and what was taken. And it's funny because I just mentioned in passing like a couple days ago, like. I think there's some bottles missing. Eric, no, there's not. <laughs> no, there's not. It's the guiltiest person. Eric, what bottles did you take? What bottles? What? What, bottle, what bottles did you take? There, of liquor. What bottles did you take? He took the one that we took. What does that even mean? We have the one we. The guy that from this this yeah distillery. yeah Macintosh. Remember no. he gave us he gave us those uh, that one bourbon one. Yeah, so that was the one I took. It was like a small, it was like a ten-year bourbon order. So you, oh, so you, but you haven't taken. No, but we, that, that's me. Brent, he, he brought in doubles though. Right. So I took. So you one haven't of taken those. anything from the collection. No. Why would I? Check the cameras. Roll Check the, the tapes. Cameras. <laughs> <laughs> you think they're missing? I don't think they're missing. There'd be a huge. I don't think hole they're, if missing. they're missing. If they're, they're paranoia. Eric, first of all, if somebody John, stole, if someone took that Macintosh right there. They would put it back together, make it close. It'd be like, it'd be like playing beer yeah, pong. They would I just would, leave it empty I space. Would, I would move Some a bottle aren't over. Aren't that smart when they're stealing? They're running out of here. Actually, yeah, I feel like if smart. people are stealing, they're going to be extra <laughs> smart because really if they know John, not. they're gonna know that he yeah, knows. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play a little magical roulette here. Okay. Right? Ooh, roulette. Magical roulette. roulette. We yeah. move this over. We move Why are you moving that that way? Down there. You're still gonna have a it's gap. One of those puzzles. With girls. No, not really. Eric. Just John, the no. You still have a gap somewhere. You move that bottle up and you space them a little. You don't have to have them super touching. You know yeah, there you go. This Spread them out just a bit. You're gonna overdo it if you're stealing it. So you're gonna make it super. Oi. Touch, make it not this kind of sounds like the voice moved, of a guilty guy, doesn't it? I mean, Can he I just sure say a lot. Yeah. he moved so many bottles when he literally only needed to move one, <laughs> yeah. and that's yeah. why he sucks at stealing. It's like when OJ released that book. I didn't do it, but if I did, here's how I would. <laughs> That's basically what Eric just did. I didn't do it, but if I did do it, I, this is the only one the guy because he got he had doubles of it. That's it, and I only have okay. like two. John, you know what you need? Like at the at the Vegas hotels, they have like the little sensors that if one oh, moves, alarms? the alarm oh, goes yeah. off. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. You need one of those. What, what do you think is missing? There's nothing missing. Oh, I know. This is why we have a visual podcast, which you can follow on Your Morning Show on Facebook or at Your Morning Show on YouTube. Yes. You can see Eric trying to struggle with alcohol. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sort of. You know, your hair's in it. Yeah. Your quaff. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Bottle gate now. Here we go. Bottle so, gate. Bum, bum, bum. I'm now going to stop doing everything important, Eric, until I figure out what's going on. <laughs> and if it turns out I'm wrong, I'm going to keep looking until I'm right. So uh, that's... There we are. Happy, happy, happy Thursday. <laughs> As Hoodie said, you can watch the podcast on our Facebook page. Search Your Morning Show. We will see you tomorrow. I'm going to find out where the bottles went. Yeah.